I think the, the High Line offers tremendous opportunity for Hudson Yards, and they are a, a great neighbor. The quality of construction, the beauty of the horticulture, and the popularity uh, with the public are all outstanding. One of the great opportunities the High Line offers Hudson Yards East is to welcome the visitors coming from the High Line via a, a landscape threshold that feels like these two things speak to each other, but they need to be distinct one from the other. With six acres of public space, we have the opportunity to create a whole palette of different size or scale gathering spaces within the plaza. The central element needs to remain this large-scale geometric reference point for the great diversity of buildings that surround it, a calm at the middle of all the energy that's at the periphery. In the design of Hudson Yards, we've been very careful as we establish a plant palette to use regional native plants, but that's not the only use of the plants. The trees, shrubs, perennials, grasses, each of these plays a role in creating a humane space. But there's still enough room to have intimate spaces connected to fountains, connected to small plazas, dining areas, cafe, small terraces, little garden rooms that people can, can sort of get away from the city and feel immersed in the landscape. The, the fact that this project is so mixed use between retail, residential, office, entertainment, a draw for the public at night and by day has been a major factor in the development of the public urban space.